<laughs> What's he unboxing? What it be? I don't know. Shut up and see. Hi, friends in the phone. Welcome back to another unboxing. I was going to do something with my hair, maybe put some beard oil in here and kind of gussy up because I was going to be on this camera that was going to be on the internet that was going to be uh, viewed for all of time. But then I just put on a hat because that's easier. So welcome back to the first church of Suntup um, where, where belief runs deep. Uh, my belief began with the misery artist gift edition if you've seen that video uh i was bonkers at that point part of that unboxing of course was the lead up to the release of that book one of my favorite stephen king books was finally getting a limited treatment um mine wasn't signed by king you know but that was fine it was my favorite book or one of my favorite books and uh I, I'd seen some of the behind the scenes stuff. Paul brought us all along the way. He wrote blog posts about his road to misery. Um, and so all of that kind of built into it, you know? And then when I got the book, it, it exceeded those already high expectations. So fast forward to today, and it's another artist gift edition. Um, one of the probably the last that'll be called artist gift editions. He's making the switch to artist. Letter numbered artist. I like the parallel nomenclature. Numbered edition, lettered edition, artist edition. And so um, from the pictures I've seen, this may be one of my favorite uh, artist gift editions, but I don't like to say that too loud because the other AGEs are over here and they can hear. And I got to say, horns. And then Rosemary's Baby. And, and then Red Drag. I mean, there are so many great artist editions um, from Suntup. So anyway, let's get on with it. Let's just check in with the Magic Duff Bucket. Let's see what the Magic Duff Bucket's got for me today. A Speedway Stout. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Because you care. You care about me. This is one of my favorite stouts. Ale Smith Speedway Stout. And uh, I have a fun little thing here. This was from my Nocturnal Reader Box days. Um, I believe this is a Let the Right One In Beer Cozy. Keep my beer cozy until I... Oh, oh. A real, a, a real ass hat pour, um, but uh, be me a little. I, I thought it had something to do with the book. I don't know. I've never read the book. I've been waiting for this edition. This was also a bookmark that came with the Nocturnal Readers box, April twenty eighteen, and I think it's a tie in to Let the Right One Win. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I got this book. I'm going to read this book. No oh boy. Um, and uh, I've been waiting for it. It's a lot, of, a lot of raves about this book. So get right to it. Here we go. Uh, this book is written by John Lindquist. If you want the proper pronunciation of things and facts, check out uh, Sean Lynch's unboxing. He actually does the right background stuff and pronounce his names correctly and um, and is a consummate professional i blather that's just my brand you know everybody's got a brand it's my personal brand okay 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 yeah like i said the pictures i've seen of this baby could be my favorite uh Artist edition. I always make the joke when the people say, "What's your favorite Sun Tup edition?" I say it's the one I just most recently held in my hand. Bookmark. I'm going a blue theme. Blue, 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 blue. Oh. 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 Look at this. Look at this hunk of hunk of burning book. Look at that book. Oh, so just, just wipe away that shrink wrap. Just wipe it away. Just wipe it away. Release. Let the right one out is what I say. Let the right one out. Boop. I was going to make a really dirty joke, but I'm, I mean, I'm going to check a box later when I post this. This is not for kids. 
But, you know, we don't have to go too far. We don't have to go too far. Let the right one in, baby. Look at that. It's a, it's a hefty tome. And this has bonus, uh, bonus stories and what have you inside. And, um, you know, one thing I didn't get to see before is the back. I don't think I've seen that. I've seen the cover up plenty because, you know, we stalk the site as we do. We stalk the Suntup site as we are known to do. Our counselor says we should stop, and we try. But I never saw the back, which has a, a cat, a kitty cat, and it meow, 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 and meow, meow, meow. And there's some blood on a tree. I don't think the blood is from the tree, because I've never seen a tree bleed. Whew. Uh, I'm probably going to read this one up next. I just finished Seed this morning. Seed. I read The Ark. Oh, my. It's a good book. That is a good book. Anya Allborn should be a household name, no lie. Brother was brother was better than Seed, but Seed was really good. I loved it. Very intimate horror. Very, I mean, Anya's stories rely a lot on the family dynamic, and and you can't get more betrayed than by your own family. So that anyway. But this isn't about that. This is about this. Um, I, I'm just you know loving the whole the whole thing, man. The whole. Um, you feel the texture, you huff the huffalicious stuff. There's a cross, um, and it's embossed. And so this is what, the third book? There's a cross on horns, there's a cross on Rosemary's Baby numbered, um, and, uh, and now there's a cross on this. All very different, all fitting, I'm sure. Love the little uh, little patch there, the, the spine label. John Avide Linkvist. I looked it up. I did a whole whole research. I think if uh, if you if you saw my arc unboxing, I kind of stumble around his name um, to the point where I just play a translator say his name because I think it's very disrespectful to not pronounce somebody's name correctly, and I always apologize. So art by Bud Cook, um, and I think it's stellar. I was going to spring for a remark. Uh, uh, you know what a remark is, right? A remark is an artist drawing directly in your book um, an original piece of art, uh, but it was just a little bit more money, and then, you know, my employment went away. So I said, maybe not the remark. Maybe I'll buy um, an artist gift edition in the future and, and actually have the book. But I was sorely tempted because this art... And this is like my favorite piece in the book. Um, sorely tempted because, wow, great stuff. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, Paul picks a lot of great artists for his editions. I believe uh, it's it's very subjective, but for me, they're like, bam, bam, just, just winners all. Um, but some artists, of course, speak closer to you, to your soul. I don't know why I did that. That was a little gross. Um, some some artists speak closer to your soul than others, and uh, Bud Cook, Jason Mowry, um, oh my gosh, Dolce Pagana from Seed, that stuff is sort of next level. But anyway, um, it's a full, it's a real deal, and I, and there are copies available. You, that's the best thing about this video. If there's a good thing about the video, it's that you can then go get a copy and have this moment all to yourself and, and keep it close and don't share it with anybody. Um, cause I don't want competition. That's a joke. That's a joke. Compete. Uh, beat me. Beat me. Beat my brains in. Oh, I'm also going to put a link to the cemetery dance interview I did in a, in the con, in the description. Cause I forgot to in the last one. At some point, I'm just going to see how weird I can get before I end the video. So anyway, boom. Uh, get, get a copy. Have your own Sun Tup moment. Enjoy it. A new release coming in February. People think it's The Exorcist and then The Wolfen and then Mega Head Explosion, Blood Meridian.
Those, that's, those are the rumors. None of these, none of this is facts. I don't have inside information. I don't think Paul would give me inside information because I'm very untrustworthy. And he's worried about me getting on here with this high powered megaphone uh, and my enthralled audience and telling and spilling the tea. He doesn't, he knows, he knows I can't keep my mouth shut. So get over to the SunTup site. I got to say again, SunTup has been the, the bright spot in a really dark year for so many of us. And I'm so grateful for that community over there on Facebook. Um, get over there, fans of SunTup, uh, unofficial group. Um, me or Chris Webster will let you in if you answer the questions and you're a legit deal and not some made up profile that was like made up five minutes ago just to get in the site and into the group because it's a private group you know who you are and then you go to the other group and boo hoo hoo i wasn't allowed in why wasn't i allowed in well because you're a fake man you can't trick a trickster i know i know i'm turning into wendy williams here with a talk show spilling tea and and gossipy and all that but that guy knows who he is come on really get that Go to a doctor. Go to Dr. Pimple Popper and get that chip on your shoulder removed. It's weighing you down, bro. Look at the joy in life. Be positive. Be positive. All right. Anyway, the Teamster came out of me there in a moment of uh, weakness. I put the Teamster back in the stable and um, uh, enjoy my love once more. So it's all love. It's all love. Except for you know who.